The Preparing to Log video has shown you how to load your rushes, open and set up your logging window, and program keyboard expansions. So now we're ready to demonstrate the actual process of logging media. First, click at the bottom of the column that you want to add logging information to, so that your cursor is ready for you to start typing. Then, start playback with the Insert or Zero button. As soon as you start typing your logging entry, the endpoint of that logging entry will be set to 3 seconds before you started typing, or to the beginning of the clip if you started typing less than 3 seconds from the clip start. This allows for the time it takes to start typing when you see something you want to log. The out point will start running automatically and will be marked when you press Enter to end your logging entry and move on to the next one. When you follow this process, your endpoint is determined by the timecode when you started typing your logging entry. So footage in between the first logging entry's out point and the second logging entry's in point is potentially not included in the logging information. This allows you to leave irrelevant material out of your logs. If you want to include every frame of your footage in your logs, hold down Shift when you press Enter at the end of each logging entry. This sets your next logging entry's in point to match the previous logging entry's out point, so no media will be excluded from your logs. Often, a short shot requires more logging information than you can type while the shot is playing. Press Insert at any time during playback to pause without ending your logging entry, so you can catch up on your typing. Press Insert again to resume playback and carry on logging. If the video reaches the end of a clip while you are typing, it will stop playing automatically to give you time to catch up. Playback will start again on the next clip when you press Enter to complete your logging entry. To start a new line within your logging entry without setting new in and out points, hold down Control and press Enter while logging. Logging in Foreseen is entirely keyboard based. You won't need your mouse at all. Preset keyboard shortcuts include Ctrl L for playback, Ctrl K to pause, and Ctrl J for reverse playback. Right click the shortcuts button to see other keyboard shortcuts. Set your own keyboard shortcuts by clicking in the grey bar, pressing the key you'd like to use for the keyboard shortcut and selecting the action you want. Your logging information can be edited at any time. Click in the column to add or change information. Deleting all the text will delete the logging entry. Words that appear to be misspelled will be underlined in red, so you can either correct them or right-click to add them to your dictionary. In and out timecodes can be edited in the same way as your logging information. Just click and type. You can also drag a timecode from your play window into your logging window to revise the codes for a log or drag a timecode from your logging window to the play window to view or save it. Double-clicking a timecode is a quick way to jump to that frame. If you prefer to log in a less linear way, or don't want to play or scroll through your media, you can simply mark your in and out points in the play window. These timecode ranges will be logged when you type the logging information in the logging window. To log an entire clip or folder with the same logging information, Type in the logging window without starting playback. A message will warn you that the entire clip will be logged with the same information. You may notice that there's no save button on the logging window. That's because your logs are saved every time you hit enter. If your internet connection is unusually slow or breaks, Foreseen will queue up logging entries and let you know how many unsaved logging entries there are. If this persists for more than a second or two, you may have lost your internet connection, and you should resolve this before continuing. Once your internet is working again, your logs will save automatically.